Welcome back everyone to Photography by Harrison. And what we're going to be doing today, we're going to compare the FC 1002 that I have against the RX-10 Mark IV that I rented. And we're going to see what's the big difference. We're going to check out the autofocus. We're going to check out the sharpness, the sharpness of the images. We're going to see you know, if all the hype we've heard about the RX-10 is really worth it. And the reason I'm doing this is because when I first bought my FC-1002, everyone said, well, George, you should have got the RX-10 IV. They say it's such a much superior camera. Yeah, it might be, but it's double the price, the FC-1002. So I'm going to do this test, you know, focus test, sharpness test, see is it really twice the camera. Now, if it's 75% of the camera, okay, you might sway me a, a bit, but if it's only 50% a better camera, to me, that's not worth double the price. Yes, you have a longer lens, but the main thing, I'm, I'm checking the sharpness, because when it comes down to it, regardless of what kind of lens you have, if it's not sharp or if the camera will not hold focus, and that's another thing I've heard about the RX-10 that is unbelievable for its holding focus. If you shoot a Panasonic like I do, you know, sometimes it will frustrate you, because sometimes although the box will be around your face, and you, you'll see it in the viewfinder, you say, oh, that's a sharp looking face. Then when you get, get home, put it on your computer, make it large, yes, you'll realize, yes, it was a very sharp picture. Unfortunately, the background was razor sharp and the, fo fo and the, the face was blurry. So we're gonna put it to the test today. I'm gonna walk up close and we'll see how close they can focus. I have both cameras set on, automatic, uh, aperture preferred, uh, and everything else, you know, I'm going to let the camera do, you know, for its shutter speed and for its ISO. And I have both of them set on center spot, metering, face detection. So we're going to let the cameras do their thing. We're going to see how well they can do because that makes it easier when you got two cameras in your hand to have the cameras do the work. I'm going to let, let you decide. I'm going to give my opinion when all the tests are over. I'm also going to test them at night. Then we're going to see if it's double the camera. I made a 50% better camera, a 75% better camera. How close can we get before it loses me? Okay. do another face recognition. We're going to walk in from this side. And now, since wearing masks now is now the new normal, how does it do when it comes to crying? What's left of my face? What part of my face you see? Which one has the best eye detection? The RX-10 or the FC-100? Correction, the FC-1002. I'll walk in closer, fill my face up with the screen. This is the FC-1002 on this side. This is the RX-10-4 on this side. Are they, still having a, are they still able to get my face with this mask on? Because, you know, now this is the new normal. Let's see how long it, let's just back up, see how far the track. Because then again, I am out in the park, so I don't want to get too far away from my camera. Not that I'm paranoid that someone will run up and grab it. But ain't no sense giving somebody the opportunity to do something wrong that would ruin the whole future. But it's it, am I still being tracked? I can't even see me anymore in the frame. Now we'll walk closer. And this might even be a little bit better test because my glasses are fogging up. Will it be able to take my eyes part of my face through these foggy glasses? Because as soon as I say that, they unfog. Let's see what we got here. There's still a little fog on my glasses.
Okay. Well, what do you think about the test? Put camera one out on this one. The RX-10 or the FC-1000 or is it a tie? Make sure you leave your comments below. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification button so you can get all my videos. If you like what you see, leave a thumbs up because you know that motivates me to go out and do more videos. If you don't like what you see, it's fine to leave a thumbs down. But just tell me why you don't like it because guess what? That would also motivate me to go out and do more videos because you know I say it all the time when it comes to photography, no one knows it all. And the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And we will have more tests comparing RX-10-4 against the FC-1002. And I will see you next time.